sorry I got distracted. My friend Kat just got married and I'm so so happy for her. Wait la, give me two seconds to cry. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial using Wet n Wild products. If you have been a viewer for quite some time now, alam niyo talaga na sobrang favorite ko yung Wet n Wild products because they're very inexpensive and they're from the drugstore and yung quality nila sobrang amazing. I'm not saying everything kasi hindi ko naman na-try lahat, pero most of the things na nabili ko from Wet n Wild and na-try ko, sobrang nagustuhan ko. So enough for the intro because I tend to talk so much on the intro and I know that's annoying. So if you want to see these products in action and if you want to know my thoughts about them, then keep on watching. Welcome to my face. Pasensya na, meron pa rin akong Just ignore that. Do not focus on the lips. Focus on the face. I already did my brows off camera in Hindi Wet and Wild product kasi I went to CVS yesterday. Naghanap ako ng brow product tapos wala talaga. Meron naman pero blonde yung color. Wala na yung dark brown or brunette. Hindi na lang ako bumili kasi hindi naman din siya bagay sa hair color ko. Sayang lang din yung pera. To prime my face, I will use this photo focus face primer and it says it refines pores fills in lines, brightens complexion, and evens your skin tone. Feels like I'm putting on a moisturizer on my face lang. Hindi talaga sobrang silicone yung product, which is good. For foundation, ito yung gagamitin natin today. It's the Photo Focus Foundation and yung shade ko, Buff Bisque. It photographs really well. Sobrang flawless niya. And this is good not only for dry and normal skin, but pwede to kahit oily skin ka. It's not really gonna mattify your face ha, kasi hindi naman to mattifying na product talaga or foundation, but pwede siya. So, oily skin. As in, pwede talaga siya. Trust me. Pwede siya. If you are curious and if you want to see my detailed review on this foundation, I will put it on the description box below. So make sure to check it kung hindi nyo pa nakita yung video na yun. For concealer, I'm gonna use this Photo Focus Concealer and yung shade ko nito light or medium beige. Marami ako nakikita sa YouTube na compare nito or nagko-comparison video with the Tarte Shape Tape. And nafe-feel ko na yung similarities nilang dalawa. Na natry ko na yung Tarte Shape Tape. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do a half and half video of both. For powder, alam nyo na, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder and this powder is amazing. It's not gonna give you coverage ha, kasi wala tong coverage eh. It's just really gonna set your makeup nicely. And sobrang flawless ng skin ko. Parang the foundation is flawless na. Pero pag pinatungan ko pa ng powder na to, parang nagiging more flawless siya. And no matter how many times I dust this all over my face, hindi talaga siya nagkikiki. Sobrang ganda ng powder na to, you guys. Before I finish my face makeup, I'm gonna do my eye makeup first. And this is the Au Naturel. Au Naturel. Yeah, nakalock pa siya kasi hindi ko pa siya nagamit. I bought this for the sake of this video. And I'm curious din naman kung okay to. I don't have an eye primer from Wet n Wild. So yung concealer na lang gagamitin ko. So this is how the palette looks like. It has a free brush. Hindi to brush. Yung spongy tip something something. Let's watch this. So that's a color it there. Mm, so that is the bronzy color. Okay naman siya. I'm going to get this bone color and then ilalagay ko siya dito. I'm gonna get this shade right here and put this sa crease ko. It's not showing up on me, not because it's not pigmented, it's because paraho lang siya ng color talaga ng crease ko. I'm just going to get the shade here for my transition shade. I'm gonna use this color, it's a comfort zone palette. I'm going to get the shade right here. I'm going back to this palette. I'm gonna get this parang dark maroon na shade. And I'll put it here sa outer part of my crease. For my lid color, I'm gonna use these two shades, but I'm going to wet my brush first. And I'm going to spray it with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus na setting spray. I'm gonna take this pink here and then ipapatong ko lang. I remembered Kathleen Lights hating this palette so much, but this is only $5. And if you are still starting out with makeup, and if ayo mong gumastos na malaki for eye palettes, and gustong gusto mo talaga mag practice for your eye looks, and I can highly recommend this one. This is only $5. If I compare it dito sa e.l.f. na nabili ko na $10, and yung nagamit ko na, this one, and this is the nude, no, no, this is the Needed Nude palette from e.l.f. Ito talaga, walang pigmentation. Nang alam ko yung Mad for Mats nila na palette maganda, but I haven't tried 
eyeshadows yet. But this one in Needed Nude, I'm sorry for my term, but this sucks big time. Of course, you cannot compare this to mga Anastasia na palettes or mga Morphe na palettes because those palettes are very, very pigmented. If you ask me if this is worth $5, then I say yes, it is. I'm sorry, I know I said wet and wild lang, but can I use this color? This is a blush, okay? Um, this is the Infatuation Blush from Makeup Geek. I'm just gonna put this here to add warmth lang kasi hindi ako sanay talaga na walang warm color sa eyes ko. Parang ang weird tingnan or hindi lang ako sanay. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette Contour and this is in the shade Dulce de Leche. I used to love this product a lot and then iniwan ko na siya sa Philippines. Actually, yung nagustuhan ko sa product na to, ito lang talaga. This one, napansin ko before nung siniset ko yung under eyes ko, medyo nagkikrease siya or nagkikake. I'm gonna use it again today. Baka naman okay lang pala siya. Baka sa concealer ko yun dati. This is very powdery so make sure to tap off the excess before you put this on your face para hindi siya mapapatchy sa mukha niyo. The thing I like about this color is that hindi siya ganun ka warm and hindi din siya ganun ka cool tone. So it's really in between warm and cool tone. Parang a mixture of both colors. If you need a nice contouring and highlighting palette, I can highly recommend this one. And this is in the shade Dose de Leche. It's really, really good and it's not expensive. For my blush today, and alam nyo naman na sobrang favorite ko to, it's Color Icon Blush. And this is in the shade Mellow Wine. This is a very, very pigmented. You only need a tiny, tiny amount. So sobrang konti lang talaga. Uh, and tap mo yung excess. And tap, 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 tap. So that's the blush right there. It's really, really pretty. Again, this is in the shade Mellow Wine. Wet n Wild makes the best highlighters in the drugstore, you guys. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Ito yung gagamitin ko para ma-highlight yung face ko. And this is in the shade Precious Petals. I'm gonna apply it on my cheeks right now para makita niyo kung gaano siya kaganda. Bonk! Bonk! If you don't have this highlighter from Wet n Wild, this is the Precious Petals. Please get one for yourself. You will not regret it. This is very, very beautiful. I'm also gonna put this on my inner corner just to add something, something on my eyes. Iba talaga yung nagagawa ng highlighter sa inner corner, di ba? Parang nag pop yung eyes ko. For my lips, I'm going to use these liquid lipsticks. This is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Give Me Mocha. And the other one is in the shade... Nude, nude, nudie patootie. So, nasobrahan yung lips ko, na overline ko siya. So, I'm really sorry. Just ignore that. Just ignore that. We are almost done, guys. Isang step na lang. So, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. If you are looking for a nice setting spray na hindi mabubutas yung bulsa nyo, I can highly, highly recommend this one. So we are done with the full face makeup using Wet n Wild products. I hope nagustuhan niyo to. Lahat na pinakita ko sa inyo today nagamit ko na before, but itong dalawa la yung hindi. If you ask me if these two are amazing, yes, they are. For the price, okay na siya. Even if hate to ni Kathleen Lights, para sa akin okay siya. Like if beginner ka pa sa makeup, but of course if you're a makeup artist and if you are someone na mahilig na talaga sa mga shadows and marami ka ng collection, then pwede ka nang mag-skip sa palette na to. You don't need this. But if you're still starting out, again, pwede na to. So this primer is okay too so if you're looking for a nice primer from the drugstore that can blur out your pores a little bit and feels moisturizing on your face at the same time then get this one i'm not sure kung okay ba to for oily skin girls kasi hindi naman nakalagay dito na it's gonna mattify your face so yun na yung masasabi ko i love everything foundation concealer blush everything i love wet and wild so much let me know in the comment section below kung ano yung next na gusto niyo gawin ko i'm just gonna pick two brands right now elf or essence cosmetics ilagay nyo lang sa comment section below and kung sino yung mananalo sa poll na to then I'm gonna do that next. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and please do not forget to hit the notification bell so you will be updated or notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you so much guys and may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you! Bye bye!